In this video, I'm going to show you how to successfully install the Smart PSS central monitoring software. It's available for download from our website from cctvcameraworld.com forward slash cm software. Here I've already downloaded the software in a zip file. I'm going to right click and click the extract all option to extract this to a new folder on my desktop. You can extract it anywhere you would like and then I'm going to hit the extract button. My Windows computer is going to extract that zip archive into a new folder and here is the executable file or the install file for the central monitoring software. So I'm going to double click to open it. Here I'm going to agree to the agreement and choose English as my language. I'm going to click the next button. Here is a very important step. If you or have your own DVR or NVR, you do not need the storage service. If you do install the storage service, it may cause annoying beeping to occur because it's not been configured yet. So I'm going to uncheck the storage service option and only install Smart PSS, which is the central monitoring software. Again, uncheck the storage service. So I'm going to click the next button and then I'm going to install it in the default location which is the default Windows location and click the install button. It's going to take a moment to install the central monitoring software on my Windows computer and depending on how fast your computer is it could take longer or it could take shorter amount of time. And then finally I could click the run smart PSS button to open the software. I'm going to click finish to run the software. I'm going to check to allow it to communicate on private and public networks. That way it works no matter what network I'm connected to. I'm going to click allow access. And finally, it's going to launch the software. The first step is to set up an admin password. Now this password is completely separate from your camera or your recorder. So again, this password is just to use the Smart PSS software. I'm going to use our default password. And then another neat tip is to check the auto login after registration button. So I'm going to check that. That way I never have to re-enter this password in again. If this computer is going to be used by several different people, then you may want to uncheck the auto login after registration button. That way they're unable to log into your smart PSS. However, this computer is only used by one person, so I'm going to leave it checked and click the next option. In here you can go ahead and add security questions to the software in case you lock yourself out of that admin user and I'm j again just going to use our default questions. And then after you've entered your questions you can click the finish button. Now it's going to automatically log into the admin user because I selected the auto login option. Now I've successfully installed the Smart PSS software. To minimize it so I can access the rest of my computer, I'm going to click the restore option. And now it brings it into a neat little window and I can use my computer while also using the Smart PSS software. Hopefully this video helps. Thank you for watching.